Hey everyone, it's Ragnar here. Welcome to another video. In today's video is my team's turn in the Mythical War League, otherwise known as MWL, and we had a crazy war. Our opponents this week were WHF Blue, and it was a very close war with lots of triples. I started us off with the first one of the night, and I'm coming here against Alex. So I'm using the 10 Super Giants, 8 Super Wizards, 8 Witches with the 8 Quakes and 5 Zaps. This is a strat that I saw Zimus do. So I'm just trying it in competitive war as well. He pretty much says just 4 Quakes for damage in the temple. The other 4 Quakes to damage the Eagle. The Zaps is to bring the Eagle down and then you do your line of spam with the Log Launcher to get rid of the Town Hall and then just pretty much pray that everything goes to plan uh, the whole thing works if it's a really compact uh, base like this one was and it's pretty much a straight line for all my troops to go through now on this occasion as well I used the queen ability by mistake I was meant to press on the royal champion but that still didn't matter we did end up getting the triple against Alex for the start then they came against fresh and uh, had a 90% two star and then fresh came himself with the queen charge Lalo he starts with a few loons to send his blimp for the town hall. Town hall. Oh, and the blimp also kills the headhunters from the CC. The goblins, sneaky goblins from the blimp, end up getting rid of the town hall. And he starts his queen at 12 o'clock. She's going to be able to get rid of this lava hound. And then she's going to be able to start walking towards the right. Puts the poison down for the pups and minion to support the queen. And then he starts walking. He also uses a sneaky goblin there. And he's got a couple of super rule breakers that he's going to be using very shortly. Now he uses the first rage down there, finds the Tesla farm, uses the headhunter to get rid of the king nice and quick. And he sends his first super rule breaker and then he sends the second one opening a perfect wall for the queen so she can go inside and get rid of that scatter shot. King is funneling on the outside which is really good for him. Uses another rage as she's getting hit by the scatter shot and the expo. The cocoloon picks up a couple of red mines and then he puts the jump so that the queen can go into the center and get rid of that multi inferno after getting rid of the ground expo uses a freeze for the royal champion just to make sure that the queen stays alive and then the, his own royal champion is getting rid of the eagle as he's starting his lalo from 10 o'clock queen uses her ability she gets rid of the next sweeper and now all of the loons are getting to the scatter shot. The scatter shot goes down, uses an invisibility spell for his royal champion. The single inferno goes down, all of the defenses are down, and this was a beautiful triple by Fresh. So he got his 90% two star and a triple, and then they ended up coming in against CJ. So Nico is coming in with a hybrid. Uses the blimp, he finds the tornado trap and the tesla farm, so he was trying to get that scatter and the grand expo. He didn't get any of those two things and then he starts with his queen. The CC did come out, so he manages to put the poison for the super minions, gets rid of the arches. The super minions are hitting uh, his queen, but they finally go down. Now he puts a couple of sneaky goblins at 9.30 just to funnel the queen. Let's see what she does. Goes to the hut, then she's gonna go to the wizard tower, then the AD, and she should be going up to the gold storage, but somehow she rerouted and went inside and became an OP queen and ended up getting rid of that scatter shot, bomb tower, and then the defending queen. So this was a bit of a lucky move from the queen. That's all right, uses the rage just to support her and uh, keep her topped up. The single inferno is now targeting her. So he uses her ability, he starts with his king at 12 and starts with the hybrid directly into the tank hall. The queen goes through the perfect wall and gets rid of the single inferno before she dies. So he didn't even have to spend a freeze over there. So he can use the freeze for the other inferno and the grand expo and the royal champion as they're going in. Uses that second freeze a little bit too early I think, maybe. And uh, now the Skyshot is hitting his uh, hybrid troops, however, they're all going inside to the Skyshot. The Royal Champion gets rid of the Skyshot before she dies. He still has a few minus left. The Queen is completely topped up, nothing that can kill her. 13 seconds to go. The King is just getting rid of the buildings over there. She's gonna be able to reroute, the, the wall is open, so 
she can get rid of the Eagle. This was a triple by him. And then we had Shivan coming in against Darth Vader with his own hybrid. So let's see what he does. He puts the Queen at 6. He wants to charge that Town Hall. So uses a few loons to uh, funnel on the left side of the cannon. Uses a Coco Loon as well. Sends a Super Wall Breaker that dies and opens the perfect wall for the Queen to go inside. Thankfully, it didn't hit the wall where the Town Hall is. Otherwise, that would have activated the Town Hall. Now, the Queen is hitting the Town Hall. So he uses the Freeze for the Town Hall and the Grand Expo. Uses another Super Wall Breaker trying to get her to go inside. However, that wall is open, so she's gonna reroute. So he had to start with his hybrid nice and quick. Puts the king at three. The hybrid is going in. Now, since the queen ended up having been distracted by the defending queen, she stayed there for long enough that she can be rerouted and goes inside. And she's gonna be able to go and get rid of the multi inferno in the center of the base. Most of his hybrid troops are disappearing. <laughs> I can't see many. There's a few in the center of the base. Not anymore. He still has one freeze. And he's got the hogs from the Siege Barracks coming out and the P.E.K.K.A. from the Siege Barracks as well. They get rid of that Grand Expo. They're gonna go into the Multi Inferno. Multi Inferno goes down, but there's a couple of giant bombs that are just getting them and the Tornado Trap is keeping them there. Queen does go through wall well, and she's targeting the uh, scatter shot. Um, so now he just has the queen ability. He uses it now. There's not many defenses left. Uses the baby dragon. He still has a sneaky goblin and an archer. He's gonna have to start sprinkling them around, and he gets a triple as well. Shiv. Then after that triple, we had Darth Vader coming in against Shiv, so trying to get a bit of a revenge hit, and he's coming in with the Lalo. Uh, with four invisibility spells, so he's gonna do the blizzard. Yeah, I like how he used the lava hand to tank, but then he also puts a few loons on behind it, just getting rid of some of the defenses on the ring and puts the invisibilities uh, around here. I think he got rid of the defending queen, got rid of the inferno, and probably he want to get rid of the expo. Yeah, he didn't end up getting rid of that, but that's fine. The king ends up finding the Tesla farm. Gets rid of the CC and the queen is at three o'clock. The king is gonna be running inside. I think probably he wanted to get rid of that scattershot compartment. Uses the freeze so that the RC can get rid of the single inferno. Uses the RC ability. Single inferno goes down. The queen does walk inside. She's gonna be able to get rid of that scattershot and a few more buildings. And he starts his Lalo directly into the tank hall. Finds that tornado trap, which I believe it's gonna be OP as he was at 47%. The tank hall wasn't activated, and that tornado trap just kept the loons there long enough that they can go into the tank hall. Goes down, uses the wooden ability, saves everything. Now he sends his headhunters for the defending royal champion. They died that his loons had to backtrack for that grand expo that never went down. So he pretty much swagged one of the haste down there. And now this pack of loons is flying towards the eagle. Uh, they just get into the ring of the eagle just in time to be able to get there and get it down. Puts a poison down for the wizard tower. You never know, it might slow it down. But uh, now he doesn't have any more loons left, but he does have a few minions and his warden is at full health and there's only one archer tower left. So now the warden pretty much gets rid of the archer tower and this was a triple by Darth Vader. Just a triple, but he did get it. And then we had Noob coming in against uh, Defi Definition something. And uh, he's coming with a Queen Charge Lalo, sending the blimp directly for the town hall. Get it down nice and early, get the first start nice and quick. The CC comes out with the Ice Golem Witch and a couple of headhunters uses a one freeze, then he puts a rage, then he puts a poison, then he puts a freeze. He realized that he has two poisons in this uh, army. He wasn't trying to bring two poisons, he was only gonna bring one. However, he did have the two poisons and he's already used a poison, a rage and two freezes for the CC kill and uh, but this still somehow worked. So he's got the king on the outside, the queen is going to be able to get rid of the single inferno. He only has a rage, a jump, a haste and another poison. And uh, let's see what he does. Uses the royal champion just to get rid of Wizard Tower. She's going to be able to move up and get rid of the scatter shot as well, even though she's being targeted by the eagle. 
and puts the poison downs, sorry, the jump down so that the queen can go into the center of the base and get rid of that multi inferno and also create really nice popping for Kislalo. Now the queen is going to be able to get rid of the sweeper which is going to help his Lalo as well and this uh, queen after killing the defending king becomes an OP tank as the scattershot starts uh, hitting her and as we know if the scattershot is hitting ground it can't hit air so all of the loons sneak in get the scattershot down there's only one wizard tower left with the archer tower and the AD but there's a trillion loons there that are just going to be moving from defense to defense get rid of it the queen is still alive and this was a beautiful triple by noob even bringing the two poisons that he didn't need then they ended up coming against noob as well tom h uh, tom q h ended up coming with a drag bat which is interesting I, I wouldn't suggest going drag bat if you have three multi infernos and you will see why i say that in this attack even though he did triple so gg on him so he's putting the yeti to make sure his king walks inside towards the eagle he does have a nice golem that is gonna be op here as he's gonna freeze the king two archer towers and the eagle this is a headhunter to try to damage the defending king a little bit and then somehow his king didn't reroute to the defending king and ends up getting rid of the eagle the queen was at six o'clock funneling and sends all of his dragons in the blimp from behind now the tornado trap was to the left of the town hall so if he had come on a different angle that blimp would not have gotten into the town hall but this time around it did and now he's got all of his dragons going in. Now look at the bats. He puts them up there for one of the multis. But there's a scatter shot still. There was a wizard tower still. So it didn't matter. If you have like three multis, wizard towers, scatter shots, those bats were completely swagged. Uh, probably could have come with more spells for the dragons. However, this is still going to be a nice triple from him. The wizard tower goes down. Probably if that scatter shot hadn't gone down, this would have been a defense. But it did and it was a triple. Then after that they came in against me and they also came with a triple. So they're coming in with the super witches and the zaps. So puts the warden at 6 o'clock to start his warden walk. He's gonna be zapping the expo multi inferno and with tower. Now one of the things I suggest if you're doing the zap and quake, if you're zapping and you're not zapping any of the enemy heroes there, I suggest more doing the 5 zaps 2 quakes, you get more value from the 2 quakes as it's the 10 tile range, than doing the 6 zaps 1 quake, but that's just a tip from me if that's what you want to do. Uh, if you're zapping heroes then 6 zaps and 1 quake is better because obviously the 6 zaps get more value from um, the heroes. Now he's bringing all of his troops in, the tank hole goes down, he didn't have to use the warning ability now nice and early there since the super witches were behind and the big boys, well if they die they can be respawned and he's sending some of his troops around the outside with the royal champion, a super witch and the valks from the siege barracks and a few more super witches with the queen and the warden are on the inside of the base, he's got a jump there connecting the back end of the base uh, scatter shot goes down everything is going to be able to move towards the eagle eagle is going to go down the scatter shot is the final building there and he was targeting the healers but somehow it stopped targeting the healers now he's hitting the witches but the scatter shot cannot do anything against super witches if the healers are healing them the royal champion moves all the way through gets rid of the scatter shot he still has i think all of his super witches alive and it was a really nice hit by them and a triple. After that triple both teams were 4 triples each and WHFL was a 90% so for us to win CJ needed a 91% or better and here you can see he brought the 6 zaps and 1 quake to damage the queen and get rid of the scatter shot and expose and then he starts at 12 o'clock with his king and golem and the log launcher he his wall breaker he was meaning for it to go a little bit more towards 12 he wanted the queen to walk inside with a log launcher as he's got a golem and a nice golem there so that's why he's putting like a trillion minions there trying to uh, funnel that but the queen ends up walking and going to the left the king does end up going inside and he can get rid of the 
defending queen, but his golden menace going from the log launcher were completely swagged. Now he sends the royal champion with his queen just to get rid of the multi inferno and support the queen. She's gonna be able to get rid of a few more defenses. The royal champion goes down and now he starts with his Lalo. He remember he just has to get 91% or better, so this has to be a really good attack. Now he uses the freeze for the multi inferno and the uh, warden statue uses another freeze for the tankle. Now that the loons are going to the multi inferno, he uses one freeze for the multi inferno and the tankle uses the warden ability beautifully. Some of the loons are killing the defenses on the outside, some of the other loons are going for the single inferno. They do end up going down due to the whiz tower, but this pack of loons. Do go back, get rid of the single inferno, get rid of Wizard Tower, and now it's just a race against time. Most of his um, cleaning troops, he was trying to use them for funneling, so he doesn't have many. And oh, he ended up time failing 98%. Very unlucky, but CJ still got 98%, and with that, we came out with the win on percent 99.6 to 98%. Very close war indeed, and GG to WHF Blue for a great war. Well, that's it from me. If you enjoy this type of competitive content, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time with more Clash. See ya.